you know, but that's not the only way babies get made. You know, some people right. have babies right. on their own because maybe there are two women or two men, or mm -hmm. maybe they, they, they're having problems making babies, in which case sometimes the doctors will put the sperm and egg in a, in a tube yeah. and make it that way. So I'll just like, I'm just honest. And so those are like, you know, kind of the non-traditional families that mm -hmm. I guess you're working with and that you're bringing into your home of, you know, there's every family looks different, yeah. um, which is a conversation that we have in our house a lot because we're a blended family. Um, you know, my son, I'm not with his father. And so, but he goes to a small private school where a lot of the families don't look like ours, yes. um, you know, but I think like having those conversations are so powerful that you're not alone. You know, every family looks different. Yeah. yeah. And like that some families, you know, are blended. Some families have same sex parents and like what powerful things to be teaching from a young age. Yeah. And, and it's great because you introduce the concepts and then if you yeah. see a child with two mommies, like what happened to my parent, my child is, uh, right. you know, uh, single sex female parents, they come home and say, oh, mom, guess what? I, I saw, I saw some <laughs> mom with the phone. <laughs> they must have had to borrow the sperm like you told me. Yeah. It's great that they made that connection, you know?